Hello everybody and welcome back to GTA Online. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising the Albany Cavalcade XL. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be customising another SUV in GT Online, it is this, based on the Cadillac Escalade. Now if you missed last week's episode, we customised this, the uh, Bravado Dorado, based on the Dodge Durango. So today we've got another SUV, the uh, Cavalcade XL. So let's go ahead and take it up to the custom shop and see what kind of parts this thing has available. All right, so here we are in the custom shop. This thing has a lovely sunroof, which is quite cool. We seem to be getting a lot of SUVs in this update. This was added as part of the Chop Shop DLC. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do with this thing. I don't know what kind of build I want to go for. I think we're going to make this thing into like a glitzy, um, sort of like high-end vehicle which it kind of already looks like that so we might paint this thing like gold and stuff um but let's go ahead and see what we can do we've got arch covers to start with we've got the stock arch covers so we can go for plastic ones oh my days i think something has gone very wrong with those arch covers they just oh dear i don't think rockstar has done a proper job of painting those or maybe they're supposed to look like that i'm not sure but they look very wrong we can have primary versions of those secondary versions or carbon i'm not going to go for any of those because they all look wrong they look broken to be honest maybe. armor options we'll go for full armor and full brakes we'll see what the performance of this thing is like when we take it outside uh, next up we have bumper options, front bumpers, that is a massive grill. Uh, we've got the stock front bumper, we can paint that primary, secondary or carbon. Then we have the plastic lower splitter, which just removes the fins there, it's a little bit of a cleaner look. Uh, it's a bit less aggressive, we can have a plastic version of that, primary, secondary or carbon. Then we've got the plastic street splitter, which adds some sort of vents at the bottom. Um, and we've got those two little lights on each side. We've got a primary version of that, secondary version of that, and carbon. Don't like that. That just looks very wrong. I'm going to go for the um, plastic lower splitter. Do we want it to be body coloured or do we want it to be plastic i think hmm i think we're gonna go for primary it's gonna be another case of making the whole car primary like we did in the last episode uh, but don't worry we're not gonna paint this one black i'm gonna choose a different color i'm thinking gold to be honest uh, let's have a look at the rear bumper options we've got the stock rear bumper we can go ahead and paint it secondary so the stock bumper is primary to start we can paint it secondary we can paint it carbon then we got the sport bumper what is the difference with the sport bumper it doesn't look any different oh it just adds a different diffuser which we can't really see very well because the lighting is not great uh, but there we go we've got a secondary version of that and a carbon then we got the gt bumper which again just changes the diffuser not actually the bumper uh, so we've got primary secondary and carbon version of those um let's see can we see it better from the side i guess we'll just go for the primary sport bumper since i can't really tell what the difference is much it looks very similar engine options we'll go for full engine we don't have any visual engine options which is a bit of a shame, but we'll check out the engine bay later on and we'll have a little look at the interior. Uh, we do have exhaust options this time. I don't think we had those with the last vehicle, the Dorado. Um, so we've got these stock little square exhausts. We can go for some ovals, just twin ovals. We've got large ovals. 
We got the rounded box exhausts. Okay, we got the double chrome exhausts. They are some big meaty tips. We got the double titanium exhaust if you want to go for a drift build, I guess. We got the sport chrome exhausts. And we've got the triple chrome exhaust. Oh my god, that looks ridiculous. Um, I don't know what to go for with this, to be honest. We're going for like a classy build. So I might actually just leave the stock exhaust. I think they're the classiest looking. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. The front fender. We've got front, front fender options. We can have the stock. We can have primary, secondary, or carbon. I don't know what rocks I were thinking with some of these options. They're just hideous, and I don't understand people who would apply them. There we go. The grill option next. We've got the stock grill. We can go for the plastic grill, which does make the badge a bit bigger as well. Okay, we got the chrome horizontal grill. We got the primary horizontal, secondary horizontal. Then we got the ridged, plastic ridged, which removes the badge. Okay, we got a chrome version of that. We got a primary version of that and a secondary. Then we got the street grill. We've got the chrome street grill, primary street grill, secondary street grill. Then we have the plastic classic grill. We've got that in chrome and we've got that in primary and secondary. This makes it look a bit more like an Escalade in real life, I think. Um, I don't know. Chrome is usually seen as like a, a high-end classy thing, so I guess we'll go for that. It's, this is not a build I would really choose because, I mean, I would never choose a vehicle like this to begin with. It's horrible. But you guys want to see me customise it, so there we go. Hood options. We've got the stock hood. We can go for a primary hood option. Okay. But it keeps that little secondary bit down the side. That's a bit odd. We've got a carbon one. Then we've got the primary recessed hood. Got that in secondary. And in carbon as well. Then we got the small vented hood. We've got that in secondary and in carbon. And then we've got the twin vented hood. Got that in secondary and in carbon. And then we have the GT hood with this massive scoop. We got that in secondary and in carbon. Um, I think I'm just going to keep the stock hood to be honest. Because these are all a bit too aggressive I think. For the build we're going for. So we're going to leave it stock. And I'm going to leave it. Yeah I'm just going to leave it stock. Then it will change with the secondary colour. When we change those horn options. We've got all the normal horn options. Lights. Um, we can go ahead and change those. I'm curious to see whether that light. Goes down the side there. Past the sort of like. Canard bits. We'll check that out when we go outside. Uh, livery options. We have got livery options. So we've got a two-tone sort of design going on at the moment. We can go for white racing stripes. Don't know why you would have racing stripes on something like this, but you can. We've got a black version of that. We've got double white stripes, a double black stripes. Then we've got the cavalcade race, which adds a cavalcade thing on the side. We've got a black version of that. We've got the Dazzle camouflage, okay. It's like an urban camo kind of thing. We got the multi covered, multi coloured camo. Oh my god, that looks hideous and very odd. It doesn't really look like camouflage. This is what I imagine you see down a microscope if you look at your blood. Yeah, we've all seen things when they show us like what the coronavirus looks no like and it kind of looks like this I don't know, I don't know if you guys agree but it, it doesn't look right and then we got the tech camo which again, it just looks like skin cells underneath a microscope I don't know where Rockstar have come up with some of these designs but we're not going to go for any of those I don't like any of those options um, mirror options next we've got stock mirrors, we can have primary mirrors Chrome mirrors or carbon. I guess we'll go with chrome since we're trying to make this high-end and classy. 
um, plate options, just going to leave the plate. Respray options, we'll come back to respray, but I think we're going to go for gold. Let's have a quick look what it actually looks like in gold, because I might change my mind. Oh my god, it looks, yeah, very interesting. We might not go for the actual gold look, we might just go into classic and go down to gold. Let's find gold, where is it at? Have we gone past it? Bronze is kind of goldy coloured. Is there actually a gold option? I swear there used to be a gold option. There's bronze, which is the closest thing. Actually, yeah, it does look pretty good in that colour. So we'll come back to that in a minute when we've finished doing all of the accessories and stuff. Roof options next. We've got a stock roof, and we do have quite a nice panoramic roof, which I'm not a fan of the vehicle, but I do like panoramic roofs. I used to have a car with a panoramic sunroof, and it's amazing. It's the best feeling ever, because it feels like you can see everything. Uh, we can go for um, a chrome roof rack, which just makes the sort of running strips on the top chrome instead of plastic. We can go for plastic roof rails. We got chrome version of that. We got the primary sport rack. We got a secondary version of that and a chrome version of that. Then we got the proper roof bars. We got the horizontal roof rack. We can have a large roof box and we've got a long roof box. Um, I guess we'll just go for the stock ones, but in chrome. We're going for like chrome with gold is the build I'm going for. Um, skirt options next. We've got the stock skirts. We can go for plastic ones of them. We can go for primary, which makes it match the front splitter a little bit better. We've got a secondary version of that. We've got a chrome version of that. We've got the plastic sport skirt, primary sport skirt, secondary and chrome. Then we've got the aftermarket skirts, which are getting a little bit bigger. We got primary version of those. Oh, and they all have like a little chrome strip. We got secondary and we've got full chrome. Then we got the proper running boards, the ridged side step in plastic, in chrome. Step boards, we've got the chrome step boards, plastic running boards, primary running boards, and chrome running boards. Since we're going for like a, a city kind of build, I'm going to go for these, the chrome ridged side step. Okay, we have got spoiler options on this thing as well. Please don't let it have a big wang like the last vehicle. We've got the stock, we've got the primary spoiler what on earth what kind of vehicle I think this has come off another vehicle let me know in the comments if you know which other vehicle in the game Rockstar have recycled this from I swear this is on one of the supercars um, we've got a secondary version of that a plastic version and a carbon it is absolutely ridiculous so we're not going to go for that suspension um, let's see what kind of drop. Oh, we can actually like slam this thing. We can get some camber going as well if we want. Um, since we are going for like a city build this time, we will lower it just a little bit. We might just go for like one drop. So it's a little bit lower. That looks good. Well, it doesn't look good, but it looks better. <laughs> um, transmission options. We'll go for full transmission and turbo tuning. Uh, wheels. Now, it does have some pretty nice looking wheels, to be honest. They're not bad. Uh, but I'll go through the options, see if I can find something that might suit it better than these. And then we'll go ahead and paint it. Alright, since we're going for a glitzy build, I found these wheels. They're called Diamond, and I've got the chrome version of them. $81,000. Um, but I think once we paint it, it's going to look better maybe um we'll go ahead and put some bulletproof tires on whoops um do we want to go for some tire lettering no that's that's the thing you have on race cars not on something like this uh window options we could go for some light smoke 
What does it look like with limo? Limo, I think, is a bit too dark. We'll just go for a light smoke. So it's lightly tinted. Uh, now, let's go ahead and respray this thing. I'm going to go for a metallic bronze. Let's find that. Metallic bronze. Okay. And then we need to make the secondary bronze as well. So let's find that. Have we gone past it? Yes, I have. Okay, so the whole you thing, as good as you. bronze, <laughs> um, and then let's go ahead and see if we can find a better pearlescent, maybe something like an orange or a yellow, just to make it pop a little bit more. Let's go, so these are orange options, it's a little bit too bright, bright orange is, again, it's a little bit too bright. Yellow, race yellow, and then we're into the greens. Maybe we'll just go with maybe we'll just go with a bronze actually, bronze on bronze. Body work to match the it's uh, an interesting build. I don't know what you guys think, but let's take it out onto the street, have a little look what it looks like inside, and check out some of the features of this thing, and we'll see what kind of performance it has as well. All right, so here we go. We're outside in the new cavalcade, in our gold-colored cavalcade. It looks a bit more brown than it did when we were inside, but there we go. I think it looks pretty good um, with the sort of high-end um, sort of options with the running board, the chrome wheels, the chrome strips, you know, all the chrome and the gold it does look sort of high-end if you're into that sort of thing um but let's pull over here and have a little look what it looks like with the doors open all right so here we go with the doors open let's have a little look inside the interior is very generic um it just looks like any other suv i don't believe this is a new interior I don't really drive in first person much, so if this is a new interior, let me know in the comment section, but I believe this is just the same. Uh, what I did notice, though, is the primary or secondary colour option does change the stitching on the seats there, which is quite cool. I do like it when that happens. Let's have a look at the engine bay. We've got a pretty detailed engine once again. Um, we've got that nice Cavalcade XL engine, and we've got a decent air intake on there. Um, but then the surrounding area is a little bit low textured. But actually the grill and the body of the car is very, very high detail. Uh, let's have a little look in the back here. It is, again, an SUD, SUV. It is a four-seater vehicle, so you can take your friends with you if you want to. And there's quite a big trunk there, not that we can actually do anything with the trunk in GTA Online. So something I wanted to test was whether the little light strip down the side actually works. And yeah, it does. It's very hard to tell, but in the daytime, uh, sorry, in the nighttime, it does actually glow up. You can see there that strip does light up, which is pretty cool. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, now, we didn't actually fit any of the um, options that add extra lights, so I don't know whether those work or not, but um, it's a pretty average vehicle. It's like an NPC vehicle. We've got the old Cavalcade here, so we can sort of compare them a little bit. You can see it looks very, very similar. It's just a little bit more modern, and that's the whole point of it. It is just a modern version of the existing Cavalcade. So there we go. That is the Albany Cavalcade XL customized. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back next Wednesday customizing another vehicle in GTA Online. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. And if you did enjoy this customization video, then don't forget to like the video. It just really helps out the channel. But thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.